Our greatest of intentions and goals were to do some solar panels on a relatively flat and simple roof, which we could not afford to do, but they could eventually be added. And then we wanted to collect the water, but being being the building over the recharge zone, there were even challenges in that. So the best the best that we could do fundamentally is to use premier products. Thicker walls than a typical for a commercial building like this means more insulation. Double double glazed windows and door systems, which are better than most inexpensive buildings. And, and then sunscreening like this to shade mm -hmm. these walls from, uh, from heat. So we have some what are really passive systems in play that do help, help keep the cost down. But I think it's it's a logical thing, but one of the one of the biggest assets is that it's a small footprint building. It's tight, it's not a lot of wasted space, it's very specific to the functions. You notice there's almost no hallways, there's no areas that, where space was left to waste. And even an assembly area for the students that is an outdoor space in the form of a screened porch. So on days like this, they're not only out here meeting, students bring their computers and work out here. So we've incorporated a lot of logic to this building in the absence of a budget would have let us do high tech. But we built the building in such a way that we could augment it at some point. So that's that's the best I can say. I took my project into a uh, uh, next level, uh, presenting uh, not only drawings and, and ideas and concepts, but also a, a physical model that, uh, that they were able to use and, and uh, use it for, for uh, donations, collecting donations and, and more funding. So at the end, at the end of the semester, uh, Diane liked the, uh, the project very much. I got a call from Professor Lois. Uh, a few months after graduating, uh, he called me and he told me that Diane really wanted to go for it and, and that she wanted to take my, my idea, my project in, in, in construction. Uh, so it was really exciting. It was, uh, it was a, a great opportunity for me to, uh, to, uh, to represent my work and, uh, and, and to show it off. You said uh, you worked at a, a student newspaper before. Oh yeah, yeah. College newspaper, weekly. Uh, so I was wondering, um, well, what you did exactly at the at the newspaper, and then I'm just wondering about your uh, your feelings on the uh, importance of an independent student newspaper, an independent oh. press. Yeah, well, it's hugely important. I think um, Justice Marion was making comments about how it helps keep uh, people and. Uh, authorities in check, it absolutely does. Even in a college environment, uh, an independent press uh, helps to bring a student perspective unfiltered from uh, the administration, unfiltered from pressures they might feel. And it was also a good demonstration of how our democracy works, frankly. Uh, it's not, there's no need necessarily to create controversy uh, with regard to the independent press. It's simply a demonstration of, of the important parts of our democracy. Um, I was a student journalist in college at Trinity, and I I uh, spent my first part of my career interning and um, you know, building up a, a, you know, my writing capacity, uh, but quickly moved into sports editing. That was a lot of fun and, and eventually ended up as uh, the editor-in-chief of the Trinitonian. Uh, very proud of those years. It was a lot of work added on to a rigorous college schedule, but the, the value of learning about business and uh, learning about um, you know, journalism and, and uh, managing a staff were invaluable and it's real world experience. This is a business that the students here at UTSA are operating and I think that uh, it's important not only for creating a good newspaper but also for generating a, a generation of students who are going to be ready for the workforce here in San Antonio. Grand opening. Um, basically I just was wondering uh, what you feel is the importance of an independent press. Well, it keeps us politicians in check, that's for sure. But you know, it, it also helps build community because in this day and age, there's a real uh, tendency for people to go toward their own source of news and information and even data. And it that hampers our ability to have a civil conversation because we don't even agree on what the facts are. And, and so a newspaper helps at least start a common conversation across a community to engage with each other. It's not the end of the conversation, it's the beginning. And so the Paisano is helping do that, 
helping create a sense of community for UTSA students and faculty. All right, gentlemen, I'm inform uh, the conversation and and help the students do what we really want them to do, and that is engage with the world, you know, argue, synthesize, analyze, and and the Paisano helps that whole process get off on the right common ground.